Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are baking, and we are going to attempt apple cider donuts. Now, here in Jersey, apple cider and apple cider donuts are a really big thing. Like, we don't go to the grocery store to buy apple cider. We go to cider mills, because um, that's what we have in Jersey. Like, this is how our cider comes. See? There is no label, nothing. There's a little label at the top that tells you that we got it at Moods. Um, but like there's no nutrition or anything on it. It's just, they pick them in the field and they mill the cider right there. Um, and they make apple cider donuts right there, fresh and hot, and they are amazing. They're also a bajillion points. So I decided, why not give it a try? Let's attempt to make some baked apple cider donuts and see if they're good. So I'm gonna turn you around. I'm gonna show you what we need and then we're gonna get the started. The ingredients that we need for our donuts, we need some salt, flour, sweetener of choice. This is the Lakanto monk fruit, cinnamon. I need to refill that. Baking powder, nutmeg. That is, and an egg apple cider, of course, and one and a half teaspoons of melted butter. I use the light butter and vanilla. That is for the actual donuts themselves. And then for the topping, we're going to need some more sweetener, some monk fruit, and also some zero calorie brown sugar. This is the swerve and a little bit more of the light butter. So that is what we need ingredient wise, and I already have all my dry ingredients in a bowl, so I'll tell you exactly what they are when we get mixing. In this bowl, I have three quarter cup of flour, a half a cup of Lakanto monk fruit, one teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, some nutmeg. I use a whole nutmeg and grate it in, so I really don't measure it. I just kind of grate until it looks good. And then I use half a teaspoon of salt, and they are my dry ingredients. So the first thing I'm gonna do is mix all the dry ingredients together, making sure that they're well combined. You can use a whisk or a spoon, whatever works best for you, I like a whisk. Then we're gonna start adding the wet ingredients. A quarter cup of apple cider, one egg, A half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and one and a half teaspoons of light butter melted. We're going to mix the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients until they are well combined. Once the ingredients are all combined, you can put them in the sprayed donut pans one of two ways. You can get a piping bag. That's the neatest way to do it, but I'm really lazy and didn't want to. So I'm just gonna use a spoon and spoon them in around the little center part there. I don't know what that's called, where the little donut hole is. Try to make them as even as possible so they're all the same size donut. Okay, now they're going to go in the oven at 350 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes. They're out of the oven and whoops, off the cooling rack. I'm gonna let them cool for about 10 minutes in the pan and then remove them to the wire rack. While they're cooling, I'm going to mix together the topping. The topping is one tablespoon of swerve brown sugar. Next time, I will not use that. There's also two tablespoons of monk fruit, Lakanto monk fruit, and half a tablespoon of cinnamon. In the bowl, 
I have one and a half teaspoons of butter, which was not enough. I needed two teaspoons. Melt it. And I am just brushing it on one side of the donut. Then dipping it in the topping, brushing the other side, turning it over, and coating the other side. And I'm going to do this with all six of the donuts. And like I said, the next time I will not use the brown sugar in the topping. It did not add anything to it. So I would definitely leave that out. And I'm just going to finish with the rest of the donuts. So here they are, the oops, apple cider donuts. We're going to give them a taste test. And you know I never taste on camera, but they look good. So we are going to, first of all, I'm going to show you the inside. I mean, they look perfect. Look at that. Like Looks like a donut. So let's have a little taste. They taste like a apple cider donut. Mm -hmm. I think the only thing I would do next time is leave out the brown sugar in the topping. I don't think it adds anything except the erythritol adds a little bit of a cooling effect. Yeah. So I think next time and when I put the recipe up on the website, I'm not going to include the brown sugar in the topping because I don't think it needs it. I just think cinnamon and sugar would be absolutely perfect. So these are definitely a win. And let me tell you, the points are definitely a win. It is. It's not moods, but it's pretty darn good. <laughs> not moods, but pretty darn good. It is two points per donut. On the blue and the purple plant, it is a straight two points. On the green plant, it's two points for one and five points for two because of the egg in the batter. But I'll tell you, I am, yeah, I'm impressed. I, I mean, I'm impressed with the crumb. I mean, look at that. But see, it's real ingredients. It's it's flour and it's baking powder. I mean, the only really um, hack would be using monk fruit instead of using regular sugar. But you know what? It's a price we pay. So I think these are a huge win in my book. And if you like apple cider donuts and don't want to spend a lot of points, definitely give these a try. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Don't forget, if you haven't already subscribed, please, please hit that subscribe button. It really, really helps out my channel. Also, when you hit the thumbs up or leave me a comment, that helps out too. If you know someone that likes apple cider donuts but doesn't want to spend all the points, please feel free to share this video on your social media. I certainly don't mind. So thank you so much for watching and the recipe will be linked below. We'll take you right to my website where the recipe lives. Have a great day, everyone, and go make some donuts.